were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, my name is Monica and in today's video I'm going to be doing some cleaning. I will also be doing some decorating. I will be decorating the formal dining room and the living room today, which I'm going to show you right here. These two rooms right here I will be focusing on as far as decorating. I will be giving the kitchen a really good clean as well. But I also wanted to let you know that I am so excited about today's video because it is a collaboration with one of my really super sweet friends. Her name is Jillian Starling and you will absolutely love her channel. She does a lot of cleaning and organizing and she has some of the cutest decor and I just love her to pieces. I know you will too. So go ahead and watch her video as soon as you are finished with mine. I have all of her information listed down in my description box and let her know that I sent you. And if you are heading on over from her channel today, I just want to say thank you so much for watching today's video. I hope that it motivates you and I hope it gives you some decorating ideas as well. So now that I have my dishwasher fully loaded and going, I did wash a few of those dishes by hand as well and I quickly put those away. So now I'm just going to clear off my countertops and give them a really good wipe down and today I will be using the Love Home and Planet Multi-Purpose Cleaner. This is in like a coconut scent. I picked this up at Target a few months back. I have also seen this product at Walmart as well. It smells so incredibly good. I love their products. They also have a lavender and a rose scented cleaner that I love, 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 but those are all used up and I'm just using up the last of this one today and I love it. It does a really good job at cleaning everything up and it leaves behind a really good scent as well. Okay, now I'm just going to finish up in here by putting everything back on my countertops and I love lighting a scented candle when I'm doing my cleaning. It just makes everything smell really extra fresh and clean and just really good. I picked up this candle at Target. It smells so incredibly good. If you follow me over on Instagram, I do share a ton of stuff. So go ahead and follow me over there as well. So the last thing I'm going to do before I head on into the other two rooms is just give this table a really good wipe down. I like to wipe down my chairs as well. And voila, everything is so nice and fresh and clean in here. And it did not take me more 
than 15 minutes to do. When I do the deeper cleans, of course it takes longer, but I did not have to do that today. And now I'm just gonna head on into the other two rooms and give those a good clean. And then I'm gonna show you how I decided to switch things up and do a little decorating in there. So I wanted to make everything really fresh in here so I decided to take these panels down and throw them in the washer. I'm just washing them on a regular cycle and then I'm not going to throw them in the dryer. When they are finished washing I am just going to take them out, hang them back up and let them air dry and that also gives the room a really nice fresh scent and I love it and it doesn't cause them to shrink or anything like that. They do have a little bit of a wrinkle in them when I take them out but once they dry the wrinkle is out. Um, these are sheets that I am using. I do get asked about where I purchase my panels and they are just twin size flat sheets that I picked up at Walmart and they were under $5 a piece. Okay, so a week back I had asked over on my Instagram which rug you would like me to pick from. I did give two options and this was one of them. There was a multicolored one and a gray and white one. If you follow me over there and you voted, thank you so much. I truly appreciate it. Even though the gray and white one did get slightly more votes, it was so incredibly close. And the more I thought about it, I did want to add a little bit of warmth in here by adding the multicolored rug. Also, I do a lot of hostings as far as like dinners and stuff like that. So when company comes over, we always sit in this room and I was a little terrified with um, food maybe staining the rug because the gray and the white was a lot lighter than this one and I feel like with this rug stains will be a little less noticeable but this is the one that I went with if you guys are interested in this rug at all I will have it linked in my description box this is not a sponsored video in any way but I just wanted to share with you I thought it was a really good price and I absolutely love it I love how it brings a lot of warmth in here and I am so happy with it okay so now that my panels are all washed I'm just gonna take them out of the washer and then hang them back up To dust off the table and a shelf that I have over on the wall, I will be using this Method Wood for Good Daily Clean. It is a wood cleaner and it is in an almond scent. I really like to use this to dust pretty much anything. It doesn't necessarily have to be on wood, but I love this stuff and it does smell really, really good. Okay, so I am really loving the neutral look right now. I feel like it looks so cozy and comfortable and very calming, and it's not screaming a bunch of color everywhere. Even though I do like pops of color, I really tend to go more on the neutral side of things when it comes to decorating. So I thought I would add that concept in here as well as that, what I did in the family room. If you are not familiar with what I did, I will go ahead and leave a little card up here at the top of the screen so you can click on and watch that video but I'm just going to kind of do the same thing in here and I thought adding a basket with a little bit of greenery to this shelf here along with this candlestick did just the trick and I love the way it looks how simple it is and all that stuff so I do have another shelf that is slightly larger and I'm going to move that over here so what I'm doing right now is just kind of measuring so I get it at the right height and honestly you guys I am horrible at this kind of stuff and I usually have my husband do it for me but he is out of town and I'm just kind of doing it myself and here's a little trick for you guys if you have a little bit of an issue with hanging any type of um, frames or anything on the wall and it has that type of a back to it where it doesn't have like a middle hanger you just take a piece of tape and you tape it across the back of whatever you are hanging and then poke holes where you would put your nails through if that makes sense and then you just take that piece of tape 
put it on the wall, make sure that it is level, and then you just put your nails in where you have those holes and it is perfectly hung and you're not um, having to do all kinds of measuring to get the holes in the right spots. So for this shelf over here, I wanted to kind of mirror what I did on the other side with the baskets and the greenery. And since I didn't have the same type of greenery, I thought that I would add some white flowers to the other basket. I love how this looks and it is honestly just very simple decorating and it just looks absolutely gorgeous in my opinion. But I love how one side has the greenery and then the other side has these beautiful white hydrangeas and it just looks perfect and it makes the room flow and it just looks so incredibly cozy. And I did purchase the greenery at, I wanna say it was Hobby Lobby and those white florals were purchased, um, I wanna say either Hobby Lobby or Michaels. I have had them for a few years so I can't really remember exactly where I purchased them. But if you are going to purchase any type of greenery or florals, at um, Hobby Lobby always wait for them to go on sale 50% off if they are not on sale one week they will definitely be on sale the next week and um, that is definitely a good tip to remember when you are buying any type of greenery okay so this is a frame that I had in my bedroom and I wasn't quite sure what I was going to do with it I'm gonna be doing another video decorating my room and I'm not quite sure what I want to do on that wall but I wanted to switch things around and move this frame and I struggled so hard with this wall on how I wanted to decorate it but now that I have done what I did which you will see here in a few minutes I am obsessed with it I love it it is not too overwhelming and it just flows perfectly so what I did was I took the frame that was in my bedroom and I hung it up here right in the center and then I have a window pane that I was using in my entryway and it just so happens to fit perfectly inside of this beautiful white frame. The window pane I purchased at Kirkland's a few years back and then I did find this uh, frame at a garage sale. I want to say it was like $10. I think it was a garage sale or it was... Um, yeah it was a garage sale but this is how it turned out i couldn't believe that this fit per perfectly in here and i was so thrilled and i was going to just kind of keep it in there because it did kind of fit snug to where it stayed but i did not want to have to worry about it falling down so what i did was i just took some uh, wire and just kind of secured it onto the back and then i hung it back up i think it looks so pretty i love that chippy look and i love how that wood shows through kind of matching with the baskets and then over on the other side I'm just going to take a few placemats and just kind of hang those up something very simple but it really adds a lot of warmth over here on this wall So once I got a good look at the room, I thought I would add a little something over here on this table. So I decided to add a white table runner and this chippy painted planter box. I picked up the planter at um, Home Goods a few years ago. And then I just added some eucalyptus stems that I picked up at Walmart. I have had these for a while. And then I'm just gonna fill in the holes with some lamb's ear stems and it all just kind of flowed together and I wasn't going to add any type of florals to this. I really loved how it was just the greenery in here and it was very simple and I love this look. I think these two rooms turned out so beautiful.
thank you so much for watching today's video i hope that you all enjoyed it if you did please be sure to leave me a thumbs up don't forget to hit that red subscribe button if you are new also make sure that you check out jillian's channel you will absolutely love her she will give you all that cleaning and organizing motivation that you are looking for i hope that my video gave you some cleaning motivation as well as some decorating inspiration and i hope you guys all have an amazing day i will see you in the next one bye